started. We have two speakers today from TIR, TRI Princeton. We have Eleanor Lehman. Eleanor first worked for TRI as a summer intern in 1997, evaluating the flow of ink through magic markers to increase their effectiveness. She completed a degree in chemical engineering from Columbia University. She went on to work for Intel Corporation as the materials scientist before returning to TRI in 1999. Uh, and over her career at TRI, she has contributed to a number of programs, including uh, member services, professional education, marketing promotion, uh, et cetera. Her current role, she serves as the secretary treasurer of the TRI Board of Trustees and is responsible for finance, accounting, and human resources. Paul Cornwell, a returning guest here on the uh, IFSCC webinar series. Uh, Dr. Pork, Paul Cornwell furthers TRI's important research work through bringing in research funded and partnerships. Paul also sets up and organizes scientific courses and events for the Institute. He has over 25 years experience working in the cosmetic industry and working with various leadership roles in uh, Unilever R&D and PZ Cousins. He has uh, many publications and patents in skin delivery systems and hair fiber science. Uh, all right, Paul, are you ready to, to kick off the presentation here? I am indeed. And uh, I'll call that up and we're ready to go. Well, thank you all very much for, for joining us today on, uh, on this webinar. Um, very pleased to see uh, so many people here. Uh, I'm going to be talking to you today about the latest developments in hair claim substantiation methods. Um, and together with Eleanor, we'll be able to answer your questions at the end. So please put your questions in chat as you have them, because I'm sure there'll be lots of questions. Just as a quick introduction, most of you might know TRI already, but for those of you who don't know TRI, TRI Princeton is an independent research institute based in Princeton, New Jersey in the US. Um, we've um, been in existence for nearly 100 years now. Uh, we, we were set up by the US government to support the US textile industry. Uh, over the years, we've studied textile fibers and then moved across to hair fibers uh, maybe 30, 40 years ago now. Uh, and now we're moving more into skin as well. And really, um, our focus is mainly on supporting skin and hair testing for cosmetics and dermatology. So we live in a very nice uh, um, old building and associated lab in a, a nice leafy part of uh, a beautiful town, Princeton in New Jersey. Um, and uh, we've even got those foxes that you see on the picture in our grounds, which uh, the picture was taken by Trevor Evans, who's a colleague of ours, who's a very good photographer and lots of uh, state-of-the-art equipment, of course. Um, we also exist online. So if you go to our website, you'll find lots of information about hair testing and all the different tests we offer. And you'll also find something called the TRI Library, which is a, a repository of uh, uh, information about hair testing and um, free access books and bits and pieces. So please have a look at that if you're interested in, in hair testing. This presentation is really... Uh, um, a kind of a one of those chocolate box presentations. It's taking uh, the best of lots of pieces of work from lots of different people. So I'd just like to say that this is me sort of presenting other people's work, uh, and it is very much a team effort. Um, uh, you know, there's been lots of people involved, including our president, David Graham, uh, Ernesta Malinowskita, our director of hair research, has been involved in a lot of the stuff you'll see today as has Samuel Gurionasiko, our Director of Skin and Biosubstrates, and of course, Trevor Evans, who probably a lot of you know, is a leading hair scientist and Institute Fellow and colleague at TRI, plus many of the technical staff at TRI, some of them that you can see here in their silly costumes for Halloween, which was a bit of fun. So today, what I want to do is to take you through uh, these steps in the presentation. I want to take you through First of all, an introduction to hair product evaluation, because I realise some of you are joining knowing a lot about hair product evaluation and desperate to hear what the latest things that TRI has been up to. But there might be some of you who have joined who have never really been involved in hair product evaluation and claims and want to learn a bit about that as well. So I've tried to balance that off by giving you a bit of an introduction first, and then we'll go into the new stuff. So 
some of the new thinking that we're having at TRI on some claim areas that uh, need some new thinking. Uh, and then a whole bunch of new protocols that we're developing um, that you might be interested in. And then um, a short piece about how we're trying to uh, further our method validation data. Um, I'll take you into that later and then some conclusions.